So since I made my last video, if you didn't go see it, check it out. Everybody keeps asking me how I made this sliding couch. So I'm actually about to take this whole thing apart, show you guys how I made it, then put it back together. Let's get into it. ignore this uh, covering that we put on the outside to make it look nice this is literally just a 2 by 4 frame um, that set up the size of our bed uh, however the only thing that you really need to make sure you do is when you put the front on really you should put the front piece on last because it needs to be lower than where you're going to place the drawer slide so the drawer slide has room to move out uh, for it so what you can convert to the bed properly in order for this whole thing to work um, this drawer slide actually has to be attached like an eighth of an inch above the uh, front of this thing and also an eighth of an inch above the top over here. Otherwise, it won't be able to slide freely the way that it is right now. Okay, so the first thing you got to do to set the drawer slide up is to drill in the stationary piece of the drawer slide onto your actual frame. So there's two pieces. There's this stationary piece and the other piece is the moving piece that's over here. After you attach the stationary piece to the frame, it has this part that kind of slides in and out. So you need to attach the dynamic piece that kind of fits inside of there to another piece of wood. All you do is you slide it in with the rest of the drawer slide. And then once it snaps into place, now this is all one piece and it locks when it gets to its full length. If you guys are looking for this drawer slide, make sure you check uh, in my description on my website. It, you know, I have a list of all the products I use and this one is on there. The next step is to uh, drill a piece of plywood to the top of both of these together. So then they're gonna move together. Okay, so um, once you get the piece of plywood on here, make sure you actually only drill it to that piece of um, uh, two by two that we just put on here that uh, only that slides in and out this piece Okay, so on mine uh, my piece of plywood actually wasn't long enough because I ran out when I was making this So I ended up attaching this one by two right here uh, just for the next step and then also I put um, Legs on this just to just to have it for extra support Okay, so the next step is to uh, put the other side of the plywood on here. But the way this whole thing works is with this piano hinge. So the way, so basically we already pre-attached this on here because it was already there like that. We didn't want to take it off. But basically what you're going to do is attach one side of the piano hinge to your piece of plywood. And then attach the other side to the one that's already on there. In our case, it's this uh, one by two. And then once it's drilled on there, then you're going to see how it works. All right, so once you're done with all of that, attaching this hinge, basically the way this works is this should be able to go a complete 180. So if you want to, you can actually move it in and out like this. Uh, and then the whole thing slides together as it moves in and out. And you can either leave it like this when you put the cushions on, or this is what I like to do, leave the second piece of plywood up. It makes it a little bit more comfortable. And you can either slide it in and out like that, or you can slide it in and out like this. But once this is down, I mean it's sturdy, you can lay on it, you can stand on it, whatever. It's strong, it's not gonna move, nothing's gonna happen. And then to get to the storage space underneath, you just flip that part up. I mean, it's actually pretty simple. I mean, it looks complicated, but it's a really simple build, so. Pretty much anybody can do it. <clears throat> okay, so the last thing you gotta do is uh, put a little latch or something on here to stop this thing from moving. So I just use like a little door lock from Home Depot and this thing doesn't move when it's on there. Uh, Cause if you have it out, like while you're driving or anything like you can see it's already like kind of starting to slide.
I know, I know, I know. It was a great video. You're welcome. This is just a quick reminder that all the products that I used are on Amazon and I have a full list of everything on my website, stealthdweller.com. It's the first link in the description. Here's my phone right here. When you're watching this video, all you gotta do after the ads load is open up the uh, description and then right there at the top of the list, click on that and then open it in your browser and it's gonna take you to my site. And then once you're on here, you can see all the products. Let's say that you wanna buy the toilet or you're interested in it. You can have more information on it here. Uh, click on this, view on Amazon, it'll take you straight to the Amazon app. Make sure you go check that out. A lot of people said it was helpful. Also, I wanted everybody to know that I'm working on a, an entire van build guide right now. Uh, and that's gonna be an ebook. It's probably gonna be about like between 200 to 500 pages of like everything that I did all together in one place. So keep an eye out for that. I'm actually gonna add that to my description of all of my videos. As soon as I'm done with it, I'll probably be done within the next few days. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. If I Later. take it to them, they would not know how to start. They would not know how to start, 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 start. Start, 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 start. They would not know how to start, 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 start. Even if I gave it to them, they would not know how to start. They would not know how to chef. Watch me cut, cut. Fresh as fire, you might see me.